In this video we'll be looking at conservation and preservation. These two words are quite often uh, used uh, when we talk about maintaining or protecting the biodiversity of environment, but it's important to know the, uh, the differences between them and the importance of each of them. So we'll start with conservation. Conservation refers to the maintenance of biodiversity through human action. So here we want humans to actually actively do something to protect the environment. And there are several uh, things that we can talk about here. Number one, why do we want to conserve a place or why do we want to do conservation is for two reasons, sustainable development uh, and maintaining the biodiversity. So it, in terms of sustainable development, we'll talk a little bit more about this in the next few videos, but the idea of sustainability is about having enough resources for future use, for future generations to use. Because at the moment, because of the increase or explosion in human population, we are using up the resources very, very quickly. However, resources can be finite. Uh, so uh, mean, what we mean by that is once they've been used up, we won't be able to replace them within our lifetime. So things like fossil fuels. So we need to make sure we uh, use a we, we are very careful in terms of our planning and development in terms of the sustainability of our resources. So that is one thing that conservation can help in that process. The other thing is about maintaining biodiversity. Keep in mind that there are three different types of biodiversity here. We've got the species biodiversity. So we can talk about species evenness or species richness. Uh, we can talk about genetic biodiversity the genetic variation in terms of their alleles and the gene pool. And we can have habitat biodiversity, the different types of habitat we have in a particular ecosystem. In some sense, uh, maintaining biodiversity, uh, which is one of the key aims for conservation, is the scientific importance of conservation. But we can look at uh, the importance of it in three other aspects as well over here. It's so number one, economic. So the idea of conservation is uh, about providing resources. So we talked about sustainable development and actually uh, this sort of development can provide uh, lots of livelihoods for different people. So it could be the people who are harvesting those resources so farmers um, or woodcutters, or it could be people selling them or managing them. So it, it, it brings an economic benefit, a benefit to this. The other thing is social, uh, in terms of enjoyment, relaxation, aesthetic reasons that people enjoy walking in the countryside, enjoy walking forests, uh, and exploring those places, and that is one of the benefits to it and the importance of it as well. The last week would be the ethical consideration about how all organisms, no matter if it's animals or plants, they all have the right to exist. So that is uh, the ethical importance in terms of conservation. So people say that actually humans have the responsibility in some sense to maintain this biodiversity for all organisms and to make sure they all have the right to exist and can survive well. And that is conservation. So now we'll have a look at preservation. So preservation actually refers to the protection of an area by restricting human interference. So the difference being here is that we don't want humans to enter that particular area. We don't want humans to come into that place. So the difference between the two would be conservation actually wants people to be involved in this, to actively maintain the biodiversity, whereas preservation is about, uh, about avoiding human contact. And the aim for that usually is applied to protect environmentally sensitive ecosystem. And there's a whole chapter, chapter 24.9, talking about uh, the different types of environmentally sensitive ecosystems. Now, obviously for these places, uh, we do use conservation as well. It really very much depends on how sensitive that ecosystem is. So these are talk about places which can be very, very, very easily influenced by any changes to it whatsoever. It could be abiotic factors or it could like environmental factors, or it could be about biotic factors, usually about uh, humans coming into those places and then causing an effect. So some of the examples would be the Galapagos Islands and Antarctica. So these are two specifically important or quite often um, mentioned environmentally sensitive ecosystems. And I'm sure you would know how Galapagos Islands used to have a lot more biodiversity. Uh, and then one of them would be the dodos, but then they became extinct because of how humans are bringing their own pets into the island and causing all different sorts of effects. Same with Antarctica as well. 
So we want to try to protect these uh, ecosystems because they provide a very unique biodiversity in those places. So again, it's about maintaining that unique biodiversity um, for all the reasons we already mentioned. So here is a summary of conservation and preservation. Making sure you know the difference between the two. Conservation is about maintaining the biodiversity for human action. Preservation is about protecting an environment by restricting human interference. So that is the major difference. However, that point is that the two have a very similar aim. It's about maintaining biodiversity, whether they're unique or not, and to develop sustainable development to make sure we have resources for the future. And make sure you know the importance for conservation and preservation as well, uh, which could be largely split into sp uh, the scientific importance and the economic, social and ethical reasons.